Hey you guys and welcome. This video is on the plugin Advanced Selector and this is basically like a compass navigation plugin where you have your item, you right click and then you can teleport to locations or send commands. So as you can see I right click, it's got the lobby selector and then I can select one of these and it will teleport me to the location. Other things I could do is create a chest plate and it will give me one. So I'll quickly do the config file and show you how to set it up. So when you come into your config file it should look a bit like this. It will probably have some green messages along it and this basically just tells you what each of these does. But once you start getting into it you don't need these anymore. So first of all you've got the selectors and this is basically the item that you first get. So my one was the example which gave me the lobby selector and the second one was YouTube. So if I wanted to add another one I'd add it here. We'll do that in a minute. Then you've got the infantries which are basically the items inside the selector. So as you can see I've got a selector here. It's Here's the one I've created. It's called YouTube. Then you've got the item ID. So this item ID is a bed. It goes into slot 2. This is the name of it. This is the law of it. This is a get block and basically this means that you'll get this item if you stand on this block. And this is stone with an ID data value of 12. So you can't actually get that block. You can only set it with world edit which is a good idea for having it at your spawn. It means that you can only get it in your spawn area. It is a good idea. I'll show you how it's implemented in a minute. Then you've got click interaction whether you want left click, right click or both. Interact mode whether you want it to go to the infantry or run a command whatever you want it to do and then whatever it does. So this one goes to tube. So if I scroll down you can see tube is here. Its name is items. The size is 36 so you can set the size of it. This one was only 9. Then you've got the items so in here you list where you want it to be. So I've got it in the 5th slot, 14th slot and 23rd slot. Then you've got the item ID, the name of it, what you want it to say as the law. Then the interact mode so you can either have this open another one. So for instance this could open up this one up here if I wanted it to but I've got it running a command. There's no permission but if I wanted to add one I could just type in a permission node here and then the player would have to have that to be able to open it. And then finally you've got whatever it does so you could have it so it didn't do a command and it actually said something so you type in say here and then you could type it in here but this is where it does the command so currently it's giving the player that activates it 298 which is whatever this is so a leather hat and then it's got the little node after it so I've got three of these so if I wanted to add another one I can just copy this paste it underneath and then try and figure out what it'd be so 23 probably be 28 I think so 28 301 leather shoes click to get some command and then I want 301 shoes and then whatever you want the law to be so I'll just call them shoes for now so that's adding an item so we've just added an item it's really easy to add an item so we'll go back up and try and create a new one altogether so for instance the selector we'll call test and then inside we'll call tester so then as you can see here's the example YouTube so if I copy one paste it then you change the name here so we called this one test change the item ID I have no idea what this is slot 3 test test get the item ID so if I change this one this time to 13 so it'll be different from the other two then what it does it opens up tester and then we want to create tester so we copy this again paste it in and then instead of lol it's called tester and then obviously I could change these if I wanted to just to create a different item but we already did that below so I'm not going to do it again then all you need to do is save it go into your console and you can either do AS reload or just reload your server altogether so I'll quickly just reload so AS reload clear so now if I go over here I've got no items in my hands as you can see 
And this block has been set to be 1 and then 12. And when I walk over it, I get the items. So as you can see, right click. Oh, I didn't get that one right. So as you can see, I've got the positioning wrong on this one. But if I click it, it does still give me the items. So right click. And I can give myself a full set of armor. So that's quite a useful feature. And then once again, obviously, you could teleport back to the location. If I give myself a wand, I'll set the other block. So set 1, 13. And if I walk over this, I get the other one in slot 3. And this was test. This was the other one we created. So as you can see, that one works perfectly as well. All you do is walk over and then it gives you the block. Obviously, you can either have them all set on one, or you can set them on different ones and just have signs next to them saying walk over here to get the selector for whatever it is. So I really like that feature. But obviously, it doesn't make a difference inside your hub. All you do is set the whole floor like this. So uh, 1, 12. And you just have that at your spawn point. So the first block you spawn on, whatever block that is, you'd set it in the config file to be that. And then you just go clear. So when I spawn in, I'd get the item straight away so it wouldn't make a difference and it'd still look good. So I think it's a really good plugin. It's really easy to set up. It's really easy to use. And the fact that you can do different permissions, you can actually change things. It's really configurable. There's lots of things being added in the future as well, which I like. If you have any suggestions for the plugin, just give a suggestion on the page. The developer is looking for suggestions. But I really like the plugin. There'll be a download link in the description below. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.